what's happening? It's Jeff here. I'm doing a three year review on my DR Premier Pro trimmer mower. Usually people run out and do reviews right away when they just get it out of the box and you get the follow up video of all the disappointment. So I decided this time, since I bought so many pieces of crap, that I would wait and give it some time and put some hours on it and see how it turns out. This thing is a beast. It's six and three quarter horsepower Briggs and Stratton, which just a, it's got a check and fill motor, which means you just check the oil right here. This comes out like that. Give it a little check. I already checked it earlier. I've been using it. And if it needs oil, you just add it. The it's what the instructions said. It seems weird to me, but it's a thing. And like, if you ever get moisture in there, it says you can turn it upside down and dump the oil out, but I haven't even had to add oil. I check it all the time, it's fine. And it's got like a little, like, I don't know how big that, that fuel tank is. Fuel tank's right here, it's getting kind of low. But it is enough to go for hours. And then it's got electric start. Like I previously said, and there's the battery right there. And what does it say? I don't even know. It's a three amp hour battery. So it's not very big, but you don't need very big. Here's the, it came with the charger too, which you plug in right here. Just like any of your battery tender stuff. But it's just a little transformer that plugs into the wall. There you go. And anyways i just love this thing cutting sides over there and that's the side that it throws it out um the, it's got two individual pieces of trimmer wire you cut them at 25 inches and you thread them in to what's called the mower ball and uh, you just thread them in over here and then it comes out there and then you pull them tight and then just loop it over there and you've got one, two, three, four, five settings. So you don't have to cut it all the way down. I keep it low just to keep the weeds down. And it's belt driven, like you would expect. And there's really not too much to it, you know, it, uh, got all the warranty and crap i'm sure that that's expired now because i've had it for three years you can fold the handlebars out it's got a backup pull cord which i've never used and right here is a teeny tiny little electric starter on it it's not that big at all and i just run regular gas in it we don't have ethanol here in alaska as far as i know Oh, engine made in the USA. So I think the whole thing is made in the USA. And uh, it rocks. I'll give you a little startup. You can hear it purr. So this is a throttle right here. You move that all the way forward. And then you just turn the key. And it fires up and attracts the dog. Once you get it started, you just depress this. To do your mowing. And to shut it off, you just back off the throttle. Put it on the turtle. It's about as simple as they come. I haven't had to replace the bell. I've had to clean. You pretty much gotta clean the air filter all the time. And then right here it gets covered. So you gotta clean that off to, so it doesn't over, overheat. And I mean, I throw in a little sea foam here and there because it's a small engine and they're carbony. And yeah, if you're in the market and you have a big area to clear out, which we've got a around an acre and a half here that we gotta clear out all the time. Get it, it's way better than a handheld weed eater. Although we still have a handheld weed eater for 
it's got the brush cutter on it for the bigger stuff but you can get pretty good size sticks cut with it maybe a little bit bigger than that but if you go too much bigger it starts eating up your twine so that's it the uh, dr premier pro six and three quarter horse trimmer mower way better than the cub cadet at home depot or any of the other cheaper brands i've seen and yeah thanks for checking out my review three years flawlessly with this thing have a good one.